So I'm replying to a video and this is to the video I made saying why do Native Americans look Asian. Um, so Bawi Sang said should be proud carrying Asian jeans bro it's a great thing. And I agree you know at first like in the beginning of life of my life you know I didn't like being called Asian you know I just didn't like it you know because it like it wasn't my ethnicity, right? Like, I am from the Americas, you know, this is our history, the Americas. So, I just didn't like being called Asian, because uh, especially it was used as a slur, you know, towards me. Like, for some reason, people um, use Asian a lot towards me as a slur, which was bugged me a lot, you know, because when someone uses a slur towards you, like, I just, you just get annoyed, you know, and it always it would annoy me that when people would um, call me Asian, it would be as a slur, you know, instead of like saying like, like you, you know, like, oh, wow, like I share my story about uh, how our genetics matches to Asi the Asian people and like people are like, oh, you should be proud of that, you know, that's the advice energy that I like. I like that energy, I like your vibe, you know, so um, that's why I wanted to share this, you know, that's why I share that video and then that's why I'm glad you liked, I mean, I'm glad like, you know, we, how do I say this? I'm just glad for your, um, your positive comment makes me happy, you know, because people like, sometimes people leave like slurs towards me, I like that, you know. In the sense that you're like being positive and you know because there's a lot of negativity on the internet and um, some people don't want to admit that their ancestors came from Asia and you know DNA evidence shows that we came from Asia and all this stuff so I get why people are in denial you know there's many reasons why people are in denial it's ignorance it's um they don't believe in science, you know, they're from small towns, you know, sometimes people from small towns are very ignorant, uh, they don't know any better, but that's how it is from small towns, you know, I know because like my family is from small town and I know how they are versus me, um, but you know, doesn't mean just because you're from a small town, you're close minded, you know, my cousin is from a small town you know she's indigenous and she's from a small town and she's very open-minded uh you know so it just depends like on your background and a lot of things you know um because you know we all have qualities that we want from the other person you know small people small town people have certain uh qualities and like information that I don't know I don't understand and they're better at it and I have certain knowledge that I'm better at or that I understand better again um it depends you know um but yeah like you know my family they're um indigenous they're full-blooded indigenous and um they don't know that we come from Asia, you know. They're farmers, my family's farmers, they live off the land. So that's their job, um, living off the land. And um, <clears throat> they don't know that um, we came from Asia a really long time ago. They don't know that history, you know. Um, it's not taught uh, in schools and like, I I try to explain to them, you know, I even show them pictures that I was I, like, the, during time, like, I was with my cousin, and I'm like, you do know that we come from East Asia, or like, Asia specifically, and then more specifically, we're genetically related to East Asians, and I showed them pictures of, like, East Asians, and Southeast Asians, and Asians in general, I'm like, and there's different types of Asians, there's, like, Asians that have, like, white skin, and then, like, <clears throat> Uh, straight hair and then there's the other type of Asians that are like dark skin and the brown Asians and so on you know Asia is a big continent so I cannot generalize it in one video 
um, but I told my cousin, and she was like surprised. I'm like, oh wow, we look alike. We look very similar. We look identical. Like you look from like the next person from the next town. You know, like you look like the person from the next town or from the same town. Like the similarities are exactly there. Like you could not tell them apart. You know, so. Um, and you know, I, that's why I want to share this video to appreciate that our, um, that our, um, Asian ancestry was forgotten, but, uh, we have to embrace it, you know, we have to embrace our Asian ancestry and where we came from, and, yeah, you know, <clears throat> Migration patterns are different for everybody Because uh, in this video like I did mention like first of all, there's many ways that people migrate, you know boats uh, There's just different migration pattern stories for everybody, you know, not everyone migrate migrated from the same place and like there's different uh, migration stories <clears throat> So um, and different waves of migration people we migrated from so like you know um, how do I say this so yeah cause like again like sometimes we generalize things and I am generalizing all this stuff um, I am generalizing because um from what I've noticed, like I have more matches. I have, like again, it depends on the situation, but I have more matches of DNA relatives in um, Central America than any other place. You know, most of my matches come from Central America. You know, even though I am not Central American, I am not like indigenous to that area. I like my genetics still show that like that area it's my ancestors you know genetically like uh my ancestors are from Mesoamerica you know um and you know I hardly get any indigenous people from like Arizona um New York uh Canada I don't get any of those matches you know Again, why might that be, you know, because maybe my ancestors migrated through water, you know, and then they landed there. Uh, again, they, they came from different type of people, um, migration people than the ones that are from Canada and all that. So, yeah, we're indigenous, but we're not related. And, you know, mm, yeah, we all have... Uh, different migration stories um but yeah at the end of the day we came from asia at least my ancestors came from asia you know i don't know about your ancestors i don't know if you're indigenous uh where your ancestors came from um but also like you know there's some indigenous people that have recent asian ancestry like maybe five thousand years ago and then like from fifteen thousand years ago so you get an indigenous person and then a recent asian within like the least 500 to 6,000 or 10,000 years ago and then you get those type of people so that's different type of indigenous people and then there's my indigenous people were like uh, full-blooded indigenous that did not mix with Asian uh, at least recent Asian and then like you know we carry that genetics <clears throat> so again it depends you know if you look at uh, Inuk people or people from Canada and then you like got people from uh, South America and then uh, Mexico or North America you're gonna see similarities but there's very much there's also differences you know um, yeah and if you know <clears throat> depends on the environment too you know um, but yeah I I find it interesting, you know, um, that people, um, how do I say it, that people, um, 
Alexander Watts video, learn more about their ancestry and they embrace it more and people are appreciative, uh, you know, hopefully science, you know, um, takes us to the right direction or or not to the right direction, but takes us to a direction of finding our path in life or like finding our own history uh, to a certain extent, you know, because sometimes um, history is not what we want it to be, like, or yeah, like history is not what we want it to be. For example, I might say like, oh, like, oh, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know, but like, what would be like something? Imagine like, like science says like, oh, um, okay, there you go. Like, science might say, oh, like, oh, you are genetically related to Koreans. Like, if they get down to that level, like, oh, you are related to specifically Korean people. Like, that'd be kind of cool. Um, you know, if they say, like, your background due to Korean people a really long time ago, that's cool, you know, I'm sure science could do that in the future. But then there might be, like, negative sci uh, scientific consequences where, I'm not sure, like, what would be negative? I don't see the negative in this, you know, um, um, I don't see the negative. Some people do see the negative, um. In science, because, you know, science is predictions. You do hypotheses and everything, so you go based off that, you know, so. If you go based on evidence and hypotheses and theories and all that, that's what science is about, you know, same with psychology, social science. It is a, you go with theories, hypotheses and all that. And that is it. Thank you for watching.